Good morning. And what I want to talk about this morning very quickly is how to restore the PlayStation 4 to its factory settings. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because I've got my very first PlayStation 4, the one I bought on the day that the PlayStation 4 was first released. And it's been sitting around for a little while now doing, well, nothing really. And I thought, well, I might as well reset it to factory settings and sell it on. Now, you guys may be looking to sell your PlayStation 4 on, you may be looking to give it away, or you may just want to reset it because it's been giving you some issues and you want to set it back to factory settings and start from scratch. Whatever reason you're doing it for, though, you will need to do a few things before you set it back to the factory settings. And if you've got trophies or you've got save games that you want to keep, those are things that you will need to back up. So how do you do that? Well, first things first, let's go into trophies. So if you go up to trophies and you press the X button on your controller to load up trophies, you'll see this come up or something similar to this come up and it should automatically back up your trophies to the cloud at this point if you are a member of PlayStation Network and if the PlayStation is set as your primary PlayStation. If it's not set as your primary PlayStation, you may have to do this manually. And I would do it manually anyway, just to make sure. So how do you do it manually? Well, you hit the options button on your PlayStation controller and it brings up this menu and you've got privacy settings, sync with PlayStation Network and information. So what you want to do is sync with PlayStation Network. So press the X button on the controller and it will sync to the network. And that means all your trophies are then backed up. Next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you've backed up your save games. Now, let's go in and have a look and see how you do that. Now, obviously, this time we don't want to go into trophies. We want to go into settings. And then we want to find application saved data management. So let's go down and see if we can find that. And there it is. Application saved data management. Click on that with the X button and you'll see four options, save data in system storage, save data in online storage, save data on USB storage device and auto upload. Now, what we want is saved data in system storage. So press the X button to bring that up. And now you've got three options, upload to online storage, copy to USB storage device or delete. Obviously we don't want to delete you may want to copy it to a USB storage device and that's perfectly fine. In this instance, I'm going to look at upload to online storage. So if you press on the X button and it brings up various options here, all the games and apps that you'll have on there. So you can press on one of them to upload it to online storage or you can hit the options button on your controller and it says select multiple applications. So if you press the X button on the controller, it brings up this and you can go down and you can select them individually or unselect them or you can select all. And then you would click on upload and that would upload your save games to online storage. Now, I'm not going to do that here because I've actually got another PlayStation and the saves on there are more up to date. So I don't want to be messing anything up. So I'm going to go out of there now, but that would be how you would update your save games to your online storage. As I say, you could also copy to a USB storage device. And if you're particularly paranoid, you could do both. You could actually copy it to a USB storage device as well. So let's just go into that at the moment. It says USB storage device is not connected. So obviously you would need a either USB thumb drive or a hard drive. Both should work. I'd use the thumb drive for this. You don't want to be wasting a hard drive on this. And then you should be able to back it up. So once you've saved your save games to either online storage or a USB drive or both, you can then go and deactivate your PlayStation and reset it to factory settings. But you may want to back up the entire system. Now, I'm not going to make a full video about that here, but I will show you briefly how you would go about doing that. So you would again, again go into settings and then you would go down to system, which should be near the bottom. There you go, system. And then you've got 
backup and restore, which should be somewhere around here. Yeah, backup and restore. So you would press on the X button to bring up backup and restore. And it says backup PS4, restore PS4, delete backup data. So if you press backup PS4, it says at the moment that there's no USB storage device connected, which is fair enough because there isn't. But if you've got a storage device connected, you would normally, to do this, you would normally use a hard drive because obviously there's going to be a lot of data to back up. It would give you a listing and you could select what you want to back up or you could select the, the option to back up the in entire system. And I've done that before and I've actually made a video about how to back up the entire system. So if you're interested, let me know in the comments and I can point you in the direction of that. But for now, I'm not going to go any more in depth on this. So... We've backed up our system, we've got our saved games backed up, we've got our trophies backed up, we may have backed up the entire system. And if you do that, you can actually load it back onto a whole new uh, PS4 and you'll be fine. Next thing you want to do though is you want to deactivate your PS4. And the way you do that is you go into settings again and you go down to account management and we're there at the moment. And you've got various options, but the second from the bottom one is activate as your primary PS4. We would select that with the X button again. And you've got here activate, deactivate. Now, if it's your primary PS4 or it's just the one PS4 that you own, it should automatically be activated as your primary PS4. Or if you've got more than one, you may have already set it as your primary PS4. If it is set as your primary PS4, it will be activated already and you would have the option to deactivate. You want to select that. You want to deactivate it as your primary PS4. Once you've done that, you can go out and then you would reset your PS4 to factory settings. So we would go into settings. And then we want to go all the way down, I think it is right near the bottom, to initialization. Yeah, it's the very last one. So you would press the X button to bring up that. And you've got three options. Clear learning dictionary, restore default settings, initialize PS4. What we want here is initialize PS4. So press the X to bring that up. And you've got two options. It says quick. Quickly delete data from system storage and initialize the PS4. This method might allow third parties to retrieve the data by using specialized tools. So you don't want that, you want full. Now it says, completely delete data from system storage and initialize the PS4. This method takes several hours. And the reason that it does that is because what it in effect will do is it will write back to the hard drive. So there's nothing left on the hard drive at all. If you do the quick method, it will just basically take all the pointers to everything that's on the hard drive away. So it looks like it's completely clear. But if you use forensic devices to get into the hard drive, you could actually restore some of the data. And you don't want that if it's falling into the hands of someone else. So you would select full. You'd press on the X button to select that. And then it would take you through and restore it. So if we click full, it says all users and all data will be deleted. This PS4 will be deactivated for any users who have it activated as their primary PS4. So you would go to that and then you would click initialize and then sit back, go and watch telly, have a cup of coffee, cup of tea, whatever it is you want to do, because it's going to take some time. I would normally do this and perhaps go to bed and let it do overnight. But I'm not going to do it now because I want to check everything's OK with the, the device before I do it. But this is where we would select it and let it go through. But that's it, basically. That's what you need to do to set your PlayStation 4 back to factory settings. And once you've done that, you should be good to go. You can then go and pack it up and sell it on or give it to a friend or whatever it might be that you want to do with it. Stick it in the attic if that's what you want to do. But that's it. Hope that's helped somebody out there. If you've got any questions, just ask in the comments below and I will try to answer any questions I can. 
And in the meantime, I'm going to go and grab myself a cup of tea and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Bye.